Unit 8. Lesson 1. Reading. Objective. Read a traditional story. Reading skill. Identify the main message of a story. Activity 1. Look at the pictures and title. Answer the questions. Give reasons. 1. Which country do you think the story is from? 2. The story is from China. 3. 2. What animal is in the story? 4. A swan is in the story. 5. 3. Who do you think the main characters are? The main characters are the emperor, his assistant and an artist. Activity 2. Read the story quickly and check your ideas in Activity 1. The Perfect Swan There was once a Chinese emperor named Zhang Wei. He was a strong and powerful man, but he was also kind and took care of his people. However, there was one problem. He had a bad temper and became angry very quickly. Zhang Wei loved art. He owned thousands of paintings, but he always wanted one more. One day, he asked his assistant Hong, Who is the most famous painter in China? His name is Cheng Li, replied Hong. He's the best artist in the country. Excellent, said Zhang Wei. Do you think he could paint a beautiful swan for me? If you ask him, he'll paint any animal you like, replied Hong. Zhang Wei invited the artist Cheng Li to his palace. Cheng Li, said Zhang Wei. Will you paint a picture of a swan for me? Of course, replied Cheng Li, but it will take some time. I understand, said Zhang Wei. You can stay at the palace until you finish the painting. After one year, Zhang Wei visited Cheng Li in his room at the palace. Cheng Li! said Zhang Wei. Is my painting ready yet? I'm sorry, said Cheng Li. Swans are not easy to paint. I'm going to need more time. Could you please come back in another year? One year later, the emperor returned, but the painting still wasn't ready. Zhang Wei was furious. I'll give you one more year, he shouted. If my painting isn't finished, you'll be sorry. Another year later, Zhang Wei came back to collect the painting. Cheng Li put a large sheet of paper on the table. Then he took a brush and some ink and painted the most beautiful swan the emperor had ever seen. Zhang Wei was astonished. That is perfect, he cried. It's magnificent. But Zhang Wei was still furious. I've waited for three years, he shouted. And you painted this swan in two minutes. How Dare you make a fool of me! He was so angry that he sent Cheng Li to a land far away and told him never to return to China. A week later, Zhang Wei told his servants to empty Cheng Li's room in the palace. Zhang Wei was astonished when his servants found thousands of paintings of swans. The emperor suddenly realised his mistake. Cheng Li wasn't slow or lazy. He had practised 
every day for three years until he learnt how to paint the perfect swan. Zhang Wei had made a terrible mistake because of his bad temper. He sent a message to Cheng Li to say sorry and invited him to come back to China. Cheng Li forgave Zhang Wei and returned to live in the palace as the emperor's royal painter. Activity 3 What do you think the main message of the story is? Stories usually have a message or moral. Is it a good thing to have a bad temper? No, it isn't. What can happen if you get angry and act without thinking? You can make the wrong decisions. You can make people unhappy. What is the main message of the story? It's not good to get angry and act without thinking. You should understand the situation before you act. Let's learn the vocabulary. Astonished. Very, very surprised. I thought she was on holiday, so I was astonished to see her there. Bad temper. A strong feeling of anger that someone shows a lot. Emma has got a bad temper. She gets angry very easily. Collect. To go and get something that you have ordered. I went to the chemists to collect my medicine. Emperor. A man who rules an empire, similar to a king. Julius Caesar was a famous Roman emperor. Forgive. To stop feeling angry with someone for doing something wrong. I forgot my mum's birthday, but she forgave me. Furious. Very, very angry. My brother broke a window, and my dad was furious. Own. To have something as a possession. He owns houses all over the world. Palace. A very large building, usually where a king or queen lives. The king and queen of my country live in a beautiful palace. Powerful. Strong, having control over people. He is a very powerful leader, everyone does what he says. Swan. A large white bird with a long neck that lives near water. Swans are beautiful birds but they can be dangerous. <laughs>